Hey there, creators. Today, I'm showing you how to make a super fun and interactive kids learning video in Canva. Whether you're teaching letters, numbers, or shapes, these easy steps work for any topic. So the first thing I did was come here to ChatGPT and asked it to imagine that you're an experienced elementary school teacher and I wanted it to help me with my idea about teaching young children the ABCs for my YouTube video. Then it wrote this for me, which is pretty good. But I took it and I made some changes to it because I didn't want to use the same examples that are used so often. So I came back after I made a few changes and then this is my new script. Now I'm going to take this to 11 labs and record my script. Now I'm in 11 labs and I'm going to record my narration for my video. Since I have a teacher saying everything, basically I'll grab this whole script here and copy and paste it right in here. I've already chosen my voice, but if you're not sure how to do this, come over here to voices. And all you need to do, if you want to listen to them, is just click on the triangle beside the name. And that's how easy that is. This is the one that I chose, Hannah. I'm going to let it read it line by line. And then once I get it inside Canva, I will break it up to fit my video. For now, let's just go ahead and hit generate speech. This is where she's actually reading what you see up here. If you're happy with the recording, you just click right here. If you don't like it, or if there's a problem, you regenerate your speech here. But for now, I'll click on download, and now it's downloading my recording. Okay, so let's go on to the next step. I'm in Canva, and I'll start my project here as far as actually putting the video together. So the first thing I will do is choose YouTube video or video, whichever you want. Today, I'll choose video. Okay, it'll open up a new window and I'll add a few new pages because I know I'm going to need them in the future. Next, I'll take the voice that I just recorded in 11 labs and drag my voice in. So you see it's right here in my uploads. I'm going to make sure my playhead is where I want it and I'll click on this. Actually, I know it's a little bit longer, so I'll make sure I have enough room. I'll right click on this and click on volume. I'll make it a little louder just to make sure that I can hear it really good, especially when I add music and other sounds. This is optional, so I'm going to take this and I'll split this into different pieces. In just a second, I'll show you how I have the voices all divided. So we'll take that right there and right click on it and click split audio. Sometimes it does something weird. So if it does that, just click on undo and redo it. Right click split audio. It did it right that time. Good. So I'll pull this over here and I'll work through all these. I'll speed it up so that you don't have to watch me in real time. Now you can see I've got my narration broken into pieces for separate scenes. Now let's match up images and narrations. I'll search for playground for this first scene. Go to graphics. If you see any that have a crown, that means it's not free. So if you're using the free plan, make sure you choose the images that don't have a crown. I'll choose this one, then I'll blow it up. Now I'm going to add text. I'll go up here and change the color and make it larger. Then center it. Go to effects, choose outline. I'll also make it a little bit fatter. There we go. I'll add a little different color for some letters to make them stand out. Let's learn the ABCs is our beginning page. And the next page will be A is for archery. But you could go to elements and you could type A and you'll see all sorts of letters. If you click here on these three lines, then click animated, then go back here. Now you can see animated A's. These are more eye-catching. I'll show you the ones I'll be using today. So I found this A. Now I'll add some images. I'll change the background color. Then I'll go on to the next letters to save some time. For the letter B, I'll add a basketball court and I'll lighten it up a little bit. Go to position, to layers, and I'll move it behind the letter B. There we go. Now we need a basketball. 
How about an animated basketball? Now we're on to the next letter C. I'll add a cricket field. Again, go to position and drag it here. I'll make it a lot lighter too. Let's add a cricket bat. No, let's add a player instead and a cricket ball. Let's make it a little more interesting. I'll take the ball, click animate, click on the B, and now make it bounce around a little. That'll work. Then click done. Now we're on to D for diving. Let's find a swimming pool. I'll make it really big and make the transparency lighter. Go to position, drag it to the bottom. Let's go back to diver. I think I'll use her and I'll flip her and pull her off the page like that. Then click on animate, click on the B and drag her like that. Then click done. Now I need a splash. Let's see if there's an animated one. I'll use this one for now and put it right there. Click on these three dots here, choose show timing. Now we'll choose it so that it comes up right after she hits the water. There we go. Let's find a teacher and a classroom. Let's choose this one. And then behind it, I'll add a classroom. Go to position, then pull it down here. For the next scene, I'll do something similar. Then for the last scene, let's finish this up. Then in between all of these pages, let's add some transitions. Choose dissolve and apply between all pages. Now I'll tighten this up just a bit and make sure everything lines up together. So now the video's completed. So if you're happy with everything, come up here, go to file, go to download, make sure MP4 is chosen, then click download. So I hope this was helpful to you. You can take all these methods and use them to make your own unique video on any subject. You saw a lot of different techniques in here, so take them, practice them, and have fun making your own videos. Hi friends, ready to learn the ABCs? Let's get started. A is for archery, can you say A? Great. B is for basketball, can you say B? And C is for cricket, a super fun sport. Can you say C? Perfect. D is for diving. Can you say D? Excellent. Later today, we'll go through the whole alphabet together, one letter at a time. You're all going to be ABC superstars. Make sure to practice these at home. Let's learn the alphabet and have fun too. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.